What's good YouTube? Reese Rockmanaker, a rock art fitness, coming at you with the last heavy back day of my 2016 contest prep. Ooh, look at that hamstring and quad separation there. Hell yeah. So guys, this is probably the last heavy, heavy workout of my contest prep. Reason why is because it's now Monday as I'm actually making this voiceover and so-called peak week has begun. So my plan for this peak week is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, moderately heavy weight, Thursday, Friday, light, no failure, circuit workout. But as you can see, I'm with someone in this video, my good old mate, Mr. Pelo Mpini, Mr. Mpini Fit. Guys, this video is just going to be me airing out my thoughts, you know, just getting things off my chest, what I'm thinking about as I enter into this last week of diet. Guys, I've been dieting since last year, August, and all I can say is I'm, I'm so keen to stop. I am literally on the bender, moods out the window, hunger struck, irritated by everything on this earth. Oh, and just tired, I've got no energy to do anything. Standing up is a mission. So from this video, you can just see that the first exercise was still heavy. The three fifteens on each side on the chest supported row, just so our lower back should stay safe. And so we can just utilize our lats. Second exercise, we have the machine lat pull down. With this workout, guys, the main focus was just getting one heavy movement to keep the density, and the rest were just contraction movements to keep the muscles nice and full. Really, on this day was my refeed day as well, because my weigh in was a bit lower than expected. So I had 300 carbs a day, so the pump was real. Actually, it was Friday's workout, so it wasn't actually a refeed day. Huh. That just goes to show, guys, I had an amazing workout, and just because I had my buddy there to really push me. Nothing was taken to failure on my part, but we just got the pump on and we hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it like it's hot. Hit it like it's hot. Oh, snap, now that I see I actually left out a... Left out a clip. Oh flip, I think I deleted it. Okay, that's the point. This guys is one of my favorite exercises. The high I call it the high to low cable row. Because it hits your back, your rhomboids more specifically, in a way that you never ever thought you could. Obviously it's a bit of that mind muscle connection, but really focusing on your rhomboids because that's the part that I really lack in. So I try and do as much as I can to maintain it in the fifth season. My weaknesses on my back and now that I'm lean I can really see my glutes, hamstrings and calves. So now I know what to do next off season. Back, hamstrings, glutes and calves. And also I just want to get strong, as strong as possible on this video. <laughs> video. In this off season. Guys the main goal for my off season is to only gain about 15 to 20 pounds in a year. I thought I wasn't going to compete next year, but I realized it is my last year as a junior bodyboarder. And okay, for men's physique, I'm already over the age of 21, so I'm already a senior. But it's my last year as a junior bodyboarder. And I'm thinking about going into more bodyboarding than men's physique at the moment. So I want to try and get as much exposure as possible. And I believe that a year off season is going to be good enough for me to gain some quality mass in those designated areas because I'll be smart with my diet, my training and just my life in general. One thing is guys, off season people think okay I'll eat a shitload of food, gain a lot of weight, gain a lot of fat and therefore I'm gaining a lot of muscle too. That's not the case guys. Your body can only gain a certain amount of muscle. You have, everyone has their genetic potential. Now whether you use steroids to go past that genetic potential or you stay natural and you reach that genetic potential and maybe just gain like a pound of muscle a year which is very, very possible after training for about 10 to 12 years. Luckily, I'm not there. I've only been training for about four years so I feel I have a lot more gains to make and I'm excited to make them. But at least if you're natural, I recommend at least one year off season, nothing less, because anything less, remember, your body must still come 
out of the diet phase, get used to caloric surplus, gain some strength, build on muscle, and then just keep on escalating. Hopefully I won't have to do any mini cuts in between, but the plan is I only want to diet for about 12 weeks next year. I'm planning on competing in August, so maybe start your June in about June. Yeah, I think the competition's end of August, so even eight weeks if I could, because that way my exams aren't going to be messed up with and I can just enjoy the process a bit more. This time I dieted for nine months because I had a lot of weight to lose. I lost that weight, but the strain that that took on my body and my mind, I feel it was a, it was a little much. Hopefully it'll all pay off this Saturday, guys. But I feel that next year, if I'm not so fat, things would go a lot better. At least I can enjoy my time with my family, eat some nice food while not going overboard. I mean, if I'm just laying around and I'm like, okay, let me eat. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to follow macros, have maybe one day off if I need to, and then just monitor my weight every day. So guys, that's just a bit of a random video, some training footage. Everything will be in the description box below. Comment, subscribe, holler back at me.